I'm giving away five written patterns of a song of freedom. You just have to watch until the end and answer the question. In this video at the back, you can see that there's no tying in the back. But in written pattern, which I written down without the fringe, the back is different. Have a tying like usually that you can adjust. So just try this one first. And if you want to make different sizes, you can purchase my written pattern. So let's start it. So the yarn, the package said to use the needle hook number 375 to 4.5 mm millimeter but I'm going to use 4 yeah because this yarn and uh, this hook I don't have 375 and I think 4 is, is fine and you will need the yarn needle and a pair of scissors So I decide to use this color, this one. It's very natural, kind of. I know I feel like the earth. It's very earthy tone. The camera is a little bit too bright, a little bit darker than in the camera actually. And the number is four one one two zero. In case you want to get the same color, this is the color number. So we're going to start with um, slip knot. And we're going to chain as long as we're going to make a multiple of six chain, now it's three, four, five, six. We're going to make the multiple of six chain that wrap around our body, it's like right under our breast. And it's gonna be like one end will meet with the other end, <laughs> you know, just like keep make multiple of six that wrap around your breast, like under your breast comfortably not not too tight just like you can be moving a little bit not that tight so keep going with multiple of six chain and keep and you better count and write it down so you know how many chain for if you want to make another piece yeah so now i'm seven and so after you slip stitch then chain four Then we're going to put three double crochet in the next three stitch. You see the next stitch is this one. So we're going to put the first one just right next to it. Then the second one. Then the third one. Then chain five. Ten hour work. And slip stitch right into the chain four from the beginning. The four chain from the beginning. So now slip stitch and then chain three. And again ten hour work. And slip stitch right on top inside of this chain five that we just made. Right, and then chain three. Now, just the this is our last double crochet. So we're going to put one uh, slip stitch just right here. Just here on our last. Like so. And we create this. You know, kind of pattern, like so. All right, let's continue. Now we're gonna do chain three. We're going to skip three chain. Now count one, two, three. We're going to put one double crochet 
on the fourth chain. We skip three, then we put one double crochet here. And one double crochet to the next one. And one more double crochet to the next stitch. So we skip three and then we put one double crochet in each of next three stitches. Now chain five. Turn our work. And just in this three chain, we slip, uh, we slip stitch there and then chain three. Turn our work again. We slip stitch inside of the chain five space. Now we chain three. And again, we're going to slip stitch in our last, in our last double crochet on top. Before I was slip stitch here, but you should slip stitch here. It's okay. It just little bit different but doesn't make any much different in the bigger picture. So you're going to continue this design, chain three, skip three, one, two, three, and then one double crochet in each of next three stitch. Chain five, turn our work, slip stitch into the chain three before. Now chain three, turn our work, slip stitch inside of the chain five space. Now chain three, slip stitch inside on top of the last double crochet. See, this is the design like this, and just keep continue until the end. So I come to the end to an end. I have slip stitch into on, on top of the last double crochet. Then I chain one. Then I just one double crochet into the next. The last stitch actually. Yeah. And I'm just gonna leave um, it open. You see? The second row, I won't close it. I want to leave it open like so. Now we go to. Actually, it's the first row. row. I only, we only slip stitch to make the ring from the beginning only. And this is the first row, we leave it open. Let's see in the big picture. This is how, you probably have something like this too now. Right. So let's go ahead, do the second row. The second row, we're going to chain six. chain six and the chain six is stand for one double triple crochet <laughs> I will show you what is double triple crochet and um, it's like the chain six is like one double triple crochet plus chain one now we turn our work you see this is the next three stitch from the previous row so we're going to do double crochet inside, put one double crochet, then we chain three, and then one double crochet in the next chain three space here from previous row.
And pay attention here. You remember here the same tree from previous row, from one tree to another tree. So we only do one double crochet, chain three, one double crochet, and next chain three space. And now we chain two. We skip this three, and then we put one double crochet again into the next chain three space. On that actually is on top of the three double crochet from previous row. Now chain three. Then one double crochet again into the next one of chain three space. And this is the design of the second row. Alright, chain two, skip the three chain space, and one double crochet inside here. Chain three. One double crochet into the next one, yeah. And keep repeat this until the end. So I'm in the last double crochet of the last chain three space here. We're gonna finish with chain one, and then we're going to do double tri double triple crochet. <laughs> so to do that, we do yarn over three times, two, three. And then we go into this chain space, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and the last one, yarn over, pull through two. Whew, this is how we make the double, triple crochet. And again, we leave it open at the end. Now we're gonna do. Let me see. Kind of like, yeah, the end is open like so. Yeah, keep going. This is going to be the body part. We are making the body part right now. So this is the back. You can open like this. And this is the body. And we're going to do the cup later on. So the row number three, now we're going to chain four. Chain four. Turn our work. This chain four count as one double crochet plus chain one. So I mean it stands for one double crochet plus chain one because that's what we're going to do in the end. Now, after chain four, we do three double crochet inside of this chain three space. All right, three double crochet inside. And we do the same again like the row one. After that, you see? Three chain space, after that we chain five. Then we turn and we slip stitch here in the beginning chain. Now chain three. Turn again, then slip stitch on top of the chain five just now. Now chain three. And then we're gonna slip stitch on top of this last double crochet that we just made. So obviously, obviously, <laughs> just repeat the first row. Yeah. Okay, now chain three. And then skip this three and then do double crochet inside this three. Just make sure that your double crochet, your three double crochet is always lined up with this three double crochet from the row one. So you just repeat row one and I will see you in the end. So my last one, I already put um, chain three and one slip stitch on top of the last double crochet. I finish with chain one and I put one double crochet on top of the fifth chain from the turning chain. You remember this one? We have made six. So we do 
double crochet on top of the of the chain number fifth number five so here six and then we go here five just one double crochet there <coughs> and now we're done with the row three and if you want it to be longer you can keep continue that can you see this is in the front I'm going to put fring and I'm going to put the cup here. Um, if you want to be longer, then you just keep repeating this, um, repeating row two and row three to create more the body part. You can make as long as you want. So I'm just gonna finish with chain one and cut the yarn. I always cut the yarn a little bit long, like so, and I can weave in later. <clears throat> but actually, this case is perfect. I don't have to weave in. It's just going to be part of my fringe. <laughs> and now, <clears throat> I'm making my size. So it's going to be cup size XS for 32B, 34B. It's actually the same. Um, now I'm going to find the middle part, you see here is in the back where we cut the yarn. So I'm going to find the middle part, can lay it flat like this, then you see it better. So here is the middle part, this is the back part, right. I'm just going to put one, so it's more like here exactly. Gonna put stitch marker there. Check again. Yeah, something like like that. Oh, let's see how I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a cup from here. I think I'm gonna go for double crochet or half double crochet for the cup, so I get a little tighter. Um. <coughs> So if this is the middle, then I'm going to start from here, the cup, and the right cup from here, and then the left cup from here. Let's do the left cup first. So when you find your middle part, put the stitch marker there, and here's three, here's three, so we're going to build a cup here. All right, I'm going to do a slip knot. I'm going to do the cup with half double crochet. So chain two. And then half double crochet into the next. One. Two. Now three half double crochet in this three chain space. I make size XS like 32B, 34B for this. And then I put the next three double crochet, I put three, one half double crochet in each of double crochet stitch from previous row. And again, this chain three space, I put three, half double crochet. And three inside the three chain space. And 
three in the next one. So I decide to stop here. So in total of 27 of half double crochet, I start here. So it's like three, 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 three times, three half double crochet, nine times. So it's like, um, you see, three on top of the three double crochet, three inside of the chain space, three on top, three inside, and all together 27 half double crochet. And now we're going to chain two. <laughs> Turn our work and we're going to put one half double crochet in e in each stitch across in total of twenty seven half double crochet. And then the third row, we're going to repeat the second row, one half double crochet across in total of 27, check two and turn. And now row number, row number four, chain two, then we do a decrease decrease in the first two stitch put one two like so and then pull through all three so now one and then the next one just do normal two three four now you just do one only the first the first one that you put them together so it's like two stitch become one and then the next you just do one half double crochet across until you arrive here in the end you put the two stitch together as one again so in total of 25 stitches okay now I put two together the last one now I have total of 25 stitches. This is how I decrease the stitch. Now chain two. The next row no, no decreasing. You just do one half double crochet in each stitch across. Ah, <laughs> stuck. Okay. Actually the next three rows from now just do one half double crochet in each stitch across in total of 25 in the next three rows. So I have done three rows of 25 stitches and then the next row we're going to do again the decreasing so it's like chain two turn our work and we do the same as the row number four number four so it's like so and then pull through three together so this is how you decrease now one. and then the next one you just do one half double crochet across until you arrive here and then you put two stitch together and this row you will have the total of 23 stitches all right so here i just complete almost done with the cup on the left side just have to make the strap um I was stopping before at the row, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to run through with you now. Um, the first row is 27 stitches, and then the second, the third, the fourth. Now the second and the third, we just do also um, 27 stitches. And row number four, the fourth row, one, two, three, four. The fourth row is decreasing. So I actually show you before how to put two stitch together in the front and two stitch in the end. So the row number four, we have 25 stitches. And then we do the next row with just the normal half double crochet, chain two and then half double crochet across. 
so the row number five we also have 25 stitches row number six we do have 25 stitches row number seven as well we do the same and now come row number eight row number eight is decreasing so we do the same we put two stitch together at the front and in the end at the beginning and in the end so row number eight we have 23 stitches row number nine row number 10 row number 11 we just chain two and one half double crochet across for total of 23 stitches as well and now come to row 12 again decreasing so we do the same two together in the beginning and two in the end we have 21 stitches and now 13, 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, we just repeat one half double crochet across of 21 stitches. Now come to row 16, decreasing, two, at, two together at the beginning and two together in the end. So we have 19 stitches and wash out. Now row 17, we just chain two half double crochet, one half double crochet across, we have also uh, 19 stitches but we just do this only one row from now on so decreasing and then just one row of one half double crochet across of this one is 19 stitches and then row 18 is decreasing row we have 17 stitches and row 19 one half double crochet across uh, we have 17 stitches. I will call this normal stitches, right? We, I call like this so you know what I mean. And row 20 is decreasing row of 15 stitches. Row 21, a normal stitch of 15 stitches. Row 22, decreasing row of 13 stitches. Row 23, a normal row of one half double crochet across 13 stitches. Row 24, decreasing row of 11 stitches. Row 25 is a normal row, one half double crochet across, 11 stitches. Row 26, decreasing of 9 stitches. Row 27, the normal row of 9 stitches. Row 28, decreasing of 7 stitches. Row 29, normal one half double crochet across of 7 stitches. And row 30, decreasing of 5 stitches. And row 31, the normal one half double crochet across of 5 stitches. And row 32, decreasing of 3 stitches. And row 33, a normal of 3 stitches. And now come to row 34. What I do in row 34 is I chain 2. And then I put 2 together in the beginning as 1 as one stitch and then the next one I just do one half double crochet so now I got two stitches right and now I'm going to put this is my row 34 I have decreasing from three to two and now it's come the strap part I already make one two three of two stitches in one row so we're going to make more of this chain two and you're just gonna repeat this step you can actually put it on already and see how long do you need so i did um 50 rows of strap this is my last row 50. now chain one and i cut the yarn and then this side you're going to do exactly the same the other side this way you can tie around the neck so we already make the left cup now we're going to do the right cup and i like to do from the inside again so i turn the work i remove the stitch marker you just fold it in half again and then you see you just have to start second cup right the same where the first cup and I will start from the inside which means I work from here so I start just go with this inside here I'm gonna have to put 
the stitch in here and just go like this in the chain space oh by the way this is the yarn we have left so i think i'm gonna use another row because i don't like it to to connect the yarn So we start with chain two. And then we put three half double crochet. So now I have 27 stitches. And now you're going to repeat exactly the same chain two and then just repeat this cup i defined it to make a super long chain of about 250 and i just crisscross like so because this way i can just take it out when i don't want it and i'm just gonna leave it like this and now we're gonna add the fring i was thinking like should i add the fring or not but since i mentioned in the beginning that i want to make fring like add the fring on the top so i would just do that and to add the fringe is very easy yeah i'm just gonna measure like 20 inches long um this is about 20 inches i'm gonna make many of this string the length of 20 inches many 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 and then i show you how i add them and here are some of the yarn that i cut to make um fring i'm just gonna show you a feel how i do it and then you can just go ahead and do it um i'm not sure yet if i want to put fring all over all around so i'm gonna just try at the front first but you can of course put it all around and how i put fring is i let it work flat i take um two of this and about half i just like fold it in half and then I just insert it into, let's do it in this line from the end here. So I'm just going to insert in this, in this chain three loop. Yeah, I can just do it with hand. You can also use the hook to help you. And this I have a little loop here. Can you see? Then I just put this, all this string inside the loop, like so, and I pull. That's it. <laughs> First one. And then the next one, I go to the next, you see, this one here, and the next one, I go here, the next three loop. And you just feel free to put anywhere you want, and yeah, it's just. A song of freedom so meaning you can do anything you want <laughs> just take another two and if you want your fring to be thicker you can also add more you can add three four five string for me two string is is good see and then I put all this string I go to the hoop inside and then I just go in like so and I pull. Yeah. And then come to this chain tree. Probably I will do two times of two string because the hole quite big. So. Yeah, chain tree. I just put one and then I add another two fring in the same space because it's the space quite big. 
you can add more if you want. And this is how you put fring. You can just keep doing this until you're happy about it. So I finish it and I decide to put the fring all over the place, <laughs> all around. And I put it on and it looks so nice, really. I love it. I can't wait to, to wear and put take some picture and then show to you. Um, I want to do some close up. As you can see in the close up, see in the chain space, I add two strands of the frings on this top, use two strands together to make a knot. In the chain space, I do it two times because the chain space is quite big. So I put two strands one time and then the next to it another two strands. And all the length are the same, 20, I have to check, 20 inches, yes, 20 inches. And there in the chain three, three loops, chain three loop from before, I put two strands there and then the next chain three loops with another two strands. I put all over the body and I love it. <laughs>